I remember one of your first questions you asked me was, how many hours are you in bed? Mm. <laughs> and I said, mm. Well, you know, I, I made sure I went to bed early, around 9.30, 10. So I have long enough hours in bed mm -hmm. for the sleep to find me. Yes. <laughs> and you said, we have to change it. <laughs> you put me on a sleep diet. <laughs> That's right. And you said, you have to get up at 7, no matter what happens, mm. and go to bed. At 11, yeah. no napping during the day. <laughs> yes. Um, what you described first off was, it, yeah. it seems quite sensible. Mm -hmm. If you haven't had a good night's sleep, you mm -hmm. think, well, I'll go to bed earlier mm -hmm. and I'll get up later mm -hmm. to maximise the time that I'm in bed. Yeah. And therefore, you know, and, and like you said, I'll wait for sleep to come. Yes. Um, the last thing you would think would be to restrict the amount of sleep right. that you're yes. allowed. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, that sort of behavioural pattern, mm -hmm. um, which you describe where you're sort of effectively staying longer in bed and, and and it's worth noting that the majority of insomniacs out there do spend uh, too long in bed yeah uh, longer uh -huh. in bed than they think they do yes. um, and so sleep restriction therapy or as it's known is is a um, an effective method um, but I sort yeah. of stress that I I certainly don't mm -hmm. use it um, on everyone it's a case-by-case mm -hmm. case, um, mm -hmm. approach mm -hmm. and it simply works by sending your body clock a nice strong message that uh, this is when you go to bed and yeah. this is when you get up yeah. and if you don't sleep in the in between then you're going to be sort of that's it that's it <laughs> yes you have to suffer yeah I mean, it's it's a bit of a sort of it's almost it's, you know it could be deemed it's a little barbaric in a way it's mm. a, it's but it, it's deemed to be sort of controlled tiredness yeah, yeah. what it's saying is that you know it, I'm asking you to I can't remember what we said but maybe go to bed at 11 get up at seven so you're mm. you've got eight hours allotted mm. time in bed mm. um, and don't nap during the day to yeah. try and catch up and something else you took away from me <laughs> <laughs> I loved going to bed and read maybe for 15 minutes mm. or half an mm. hour and I just was was looking forward to this mm. you know to mm. this ritual and you said to me bed is only there for sleeping and making love okay. not reading okay <laughs> What's, uh, and I think what's important to stress mm -hmm. is that millions of people around the UK mm -hmm. um, read in bed um, yes. before going, you know, before going to sleep, and it's absolutely, uh, it's perfectly normal thing to do. Mm -hmm. However, when people come to me and they are having, uh, you know, they they have problems with their sleep, yeah. there are often sort of rules in which they've created belief patterns, yes. um, and that's what I'm sort of trying to tease out from the individual. So yes. a lot of people might come to me and say, I need to read to fall asleep. Right. Or um, I need to watch television. Exactly. To fall exactly. Um, yeah. And suddenly, um, that is basically that's the, there's a problem there. Yeah. Alarm bell goes off in my head because yeah. it says that this person can't sleep naturally anymore. Yes. Um, and, and this is sort of fundamental to what I do, really. Mm. Um, mm. Because if you ask um, a good sleeper what yeah. they do to sleep, what do they say? They say then, yeah, nothing. Nothing. Exactly. Go to bed turn over and they're gone and they're gone yeah. it's and if you ask an insomniac mm -hmm. what they do to sleep yeah they'll give you a very long list that's true yes. and and this is the sort of the fundamental basis behind everything that i do yeah. um because it, it's for normal sleepers it's it's a it's an act of non-doing we yes. don't do anything yeah but so why then when we suffer from insomnia do we try and do so much? It's true. Yeah, I never saw it that way. And, yeah. and the, there is a, an obvious reason to it, mm. is because we've got the, we're not sleeping. Yes. And as humans, when we have a problem, yes. uh, if we have a problem at work, yes. um, we find a solution to it and we mm. fix it and we mm. move on. Mm. So we like to control things. We like to have everything in order. Yes, yes. So suddenly, when you can't sleep, we apply the same approach. Yeah. So we we try to control it. So we go, yeah. okay, I need to do things. So, yes. and we look up on the internet, or we we get advice. And unfortunately, a lot of I believe a lot of the advice is yeah. is, is is actually sort of fuels insomnia because it might say to you, you know, have a glass of warm milk. 
Yeah. Um, sort of have a bath, relax. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, don't get into bed. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. you know, so, or it could be more uh, some other you know sort of factors. So put lavender on your pillow, or mm -hmm. listen to a CD with whale noises on. <laughs> Um, whilst these things do have their certain merits, yes. if you come back to what a, a normal sleeper does to sleep, yes. they don't do anything. No, but there are some sleep doctors out there who say, or I keep reading things mm. about them, who say you have to perform a kind of a ritual mm. before you go to mm. bed. But it sounds like we are engaging too much our mind exactly. in, a, in these rituals and yeah. cannot switch off. Yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, people come to me every day and they tell me the most uh, amazing rituals, uh, uh, <laughs> some of which might last up to four hours. So they're going to bed at 11, but yes. they're starting to wind down at 7. Yes. And, and that's uh, what they're doing is, and that might involve, you know, they have, they're doing some yoga and then some, mm -hmm. um, some sort of uh, meditation or some exercise or specific yes. uh, routines in which they're doing to, to help them get to this point where they're going to sleep. They're doing, doing, doing in order to let go at the end. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah. And, and, and so the fundamental problem there is mm. all of, like you said, these rituals, mm. I believe, just help to put sleep up on a, a pedestal. Yes. That where it's sort of, it's some, something which is difficult to achieve. And actually, if you ask, sort of, again, a, a, a normal sleeper what yes. they do to sleep they'll tell you they don't do anything and it's not yes. difficult to achieve yes. and that comes back to that most important factor that everyone can sleep mm. but we just get in the way <clears throat> we get in the way of our ability to sleep yes. Yes. and one of the ways we get in the way is, is by doing all of these things yes that's right so you at, uh, a few years ago you s became a buddhist you you started practicing meditation and right, yeah. mindfulness and somehow you started to incorporate mm. mindfulness into working with insomniacs. Mm. Would you like to say something about sure, it? Sure, sure. Um, yeah. uh, I mean, I remember my first um, uh, sort of mindful meditation that I did mm -hmm. and we were doing a body scan. And which I think you're you're probably aware of, where you you sort of uh, you lie down. It's a meditation, and you're going exactly. You scan, your body. You scan yeah. through your body. Yeah. Within about sort of thirty seconds, I was fast asleep, <laughs> <laughs> and rather yeah. embarrassingly, I was snoring most of the way through. And about forty minutes later, I yeah. woke up to find that we were we were working on the head, and we'd started on the toes, but I couldn't remember anywhere in between. Right. And yeah. I thought, wow, mm. <laughs> I might be able to use this in what yes. I do. Yes. Um. So I have, I've embraced uh, mindfulness and certain sort of Buddhist ways. I wouldn't class myself as a Buddhist, but I believe in their sort of moral uh, values and right. in a lot of the practices which they use. And yes. I, I test everything on myself first mm. and I got such sort of benefit from it. Yeah. And it gave me such understanding about how I was sort of trying to control my the stresses in my life mm. and and how uh, perhaps there was a different way mm. and as as you well know sort of mindfulness is about being in the present moment yes. um, we spend so much of our time in the past yes. sort of worrying about everything that's gone on yeah. or in the future yes. imagining what could happen and yes. For, for people who suffer from insomnia, mm. this is, we worry about all the past poor quality sleep we've had. Mm. Or we imagine, you know, how bad sleep could be yeah. uh, sort of this night or the next night. Yeah. Or how we might not be able to cope the next day. Yeah, yeah that was very helpful for me uh, also when you asked me, what are your thoughts mm. around going to bed at night, mm. sleeping, and in this moment, I became aware that I was actually afraid of the night, mm. of not being able to sleep, mm. and how that actually was preventing me from falling yeah. asleep. Yeah. yeah or the, uh, another thing is, when you wake up at night, just be present, mm. and once you you start thinking negative, get out of bed. 